Hello, welcome to Bridge Design. We're going to try to do a problem today and we're going to calculate the uh, uh, maximum uh, moment for an interior girder. Take a look at the problem up here in the board and you can see uh, we have a, a bridge deck with a five girder and with a spacing of seven feet uh, apart and the outside girder is about three feet. And the given information given to us uh, is uh, with a dead load of uh, uh, three cubes per foot uh, for the concrete and a weighing surface of 0.5 cubes per, per foot. And also we have the Ashto lane load and, uh, and on uh, we have the bridge stiffness uh, factor of one. So uh, one of the first thing we're gonna do, it says the bridge is uh, simply supported. Basically saying if you look at the girder on the side way, it's gonna be simply supported. And this is a girder, one girder and uh, 50 feet apart it's a 50 feet span i mean okay so that's 50 feet and we're going to go ahead and calculate the uh, uh, load and when we look at the simply supported feet uh, supported beam with the unit distributed uniform distributed load like we have here because of the deck and uh, wearing surface the uh, maximum moment uh, you can find them in a steel book uh, is WL squared divided by eight. Now, step one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna calculate the maximum moment based on the given information. So we're gonna go ahead and say, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna say M D C is equal to WL over square eight. And I think it was, um, Three kips, right? Three times fifty square divided by eight, and that comes out to uh, nine hundred and thirty-seven point five kip foot. Now this number is distributed over all five girders. Let's divide it by five, so we get per one girder. If I divide it by five, that will give me a uh, uh, hundred eighty-seven point five. Kip foot. That was based on uh, DC, so now let's do the weighting surface. DW, same thing, W R squared divided by 8, and the problem was 0.5, yeah? 0.5 time 50 square divided by 8, and that comes out to 156. Kip foot again. This is over five girder. We want to divide them by five to make it per one girder, and that's going to come out to 31.2 kips. Foot, kip foot. Dead load. Now let's go to a life load. Our life load M L L, and that's for the lane. is, uh, take a look at that on the board, it's 0.64 kip per foot per ashto. So we're gonna say uh, the uh, unit load is that, therefore it'll be equal to 0.64 kip per foot, W times L squared, which is 50 squared, divided by eight, and that will give us uh, 200 kip foot, and this one is just for girder anyway. The next thing we want to do is the uh, make room M. That's not a good looking M. M. Life load for the uh, HL93 actual vehicle, and that was uh, I think was given at uh, 62.628 kips. It was given at 620. Yeah, correct. So it's given at 628 kip foot. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the uh, dynamic load allowance. That's M. Uh, okay. The dynamic load allowance, M I M. And if we go on section 3.6, let me see if I can put that on the board. And from there, we can see is the dynamic allowance is about 33%. So we're going to use 0.33 times 628 and that should give me a 207 kip foot okay so now we got all one two three all all moment that we want to get there so the next step is step uh, number two we're going to go ahead um, find the life load distribution factor to find the life load distribution factor uh, you're going to look at the ASHTO table 4.6.2.2-1-1. And we know based on that table, it's a section, cross section is an A. And from there, if we go to a table, 4.6.2.2.2B-1. And from there, we can find this formula, which has already been highlighted. There, we can calculate the uh, distribution factor. So the distribution factor can be calculated um, and that's going to should be uh, is 0 .7, 0 0.075 plus uh, spacing S divided by uh, 9.5 by power of 0.6 and uh, time spacing divided by length by power 0.2 and then we have the uh, factor which is basically 1 in here it was given to us as 1 that's a kg divided by uh, 12 LTS by power 3 by power point 0.1. This here is given to us, and that's 1. That makes it easier. So the distribution factor comes out to 0 0.075 plus the spacing was 7. Correct. It's a... Uh, 7 divided by 0.95, 9.5 I mean by power 0.6, times 7 divided by 50 by power 0.2, times 1, and that comes out to 0.637. So now our distribution factor comes out to 0.637. We want to add, based on our loading, we calculate the moments, dead load, life load, and now we found the distribution factor, we found the dynamic load in factor, and from here we're going to go ahead and look at the step three. And our step three is basically using the table, uh, the uh, strength load combination factor. So we're going to go to table 3.4, 1 1, and table 3.4, 1 2, which I put on a board right now, and we're going to use the strength load one combination that's going to control. So we're going to say, okay, the moment, the design moment is going to come out to uh, 1.25. And 1.25 comes from the, uh, um, the table, which is highlighted, time MDC. And our MDC, let me write this down for now, MDC, and then plus uh, 1.5. Again, we picked it up from the table, time MDW for the wearing surface. Then we have 1.75 per table times the life load, which we're going to be multiplying by the distribution factor first, LLDSIT, that's the distribution factor, and multiply by all those uh, three moments combined, which is going to be uh, MLL for the lane plus MN, ML for the HL93 plus M for the... Uh, the dynamic loading I am. And if we plug all that in, M design kind of come out to 
1.25 times MDC. MDC came out to 1875, right? 187.5, yeah, 187.5 plus 1.5 times uh, 31.2, 31.2, yeah, and plus 1.75 times uh, 0.637, and plus those three combined comes out to uh, 1035. So our design gonna come out to total design come out to uh, uh, close to what did I calculated let's say here fourteen thirty five fourteen thirty five kip foot yep and this is our design moment and later on we can take this and 